Hello, I'm Elspeth Jackson from Ragged Life. I'm also the author of Rag Rugs, Pillows and More. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the shaggy technique of rag rigging. So this technique here, it's quite textured. And we're going to be learning how to do it using a very simple rag rug latch hook. It's all very easy and I'm going to talk you through each stage um, and I hope you enjoy it. So one of the easiest and more basic tools we can use to make a shaggy rag rug is the latch hook, um, which has got this little dangly bit here called the latch. Um, other things that you'll need is some hessian, um, which is our main base, which we use to do our rag rugging onto. It's really important that you get the correct weave of hessian. So you're looking for something that's around kind of four holes per centimeter or 10 holes per inch. Um, otherwise your rags won't stay in securely and they may fall out. Um, which no one wants after all that hard work. Um, the only other element that you'll need is some short strips of fabric that are roughly around seven centimeters in length or a couple of inches, um, but you want them to be consistent in length. So you can cut these to size using a rag rug gauge, but I've already prepped mine, so I'll just pop them aside and I'll get going. So with the latch hook, you always go in from the top of the hessian, so this is my top, and you always want to keep your strip of fabric underneath. Um, if you do that, it's very hard to go wrong. Some people find that this little latch bit makes their life slightly harder than it should be. If at any stage you're feeling particularly cat canted, I mean everyone when they're a beginner feels a little bit slow, um, but if you're feeling like it's making it a lot harder, you can actually tape that open and use just the hook um, and some people find that easier but what we're going to do for the moment is we're going to hold our strip so the top is between our index finger and middle finger slightly further down between our thumb and our fourth finger and we're just creating tension to make it easy to hook onto underneath the hessian so then we're going to choose wherever we want to go in the hessian and the design will then dictate where you want to go but you're just going to push your latch hook through to the underside of the hessian and you want to make sure that this little latch bit is underneath the hessian and not still on the top. You're then going to capture the centre of the rag into the hook bit. As you pull, the latch bit will begin to come down and you can see from the top that I've now come through to the top. We've still got two ends underneath, so I'm just gonna hold on to one of them and I'm just gonna ease by just gently kind of wiggling. I'm gonna ease one end of the strip to the top. You then miss out two holes in the hessian and once again from the top to underneath, go through with the latch hook. And we're just gonna place the strip in and just pull and you can see the latch bits come down. And we're just gonna, once again, ease it through and that is your first bit of shaggy rag rugging with the latch hook. You're then gonna repeat this process all along to keep making your shaggy rag rug. So what I normally do then is I miss out a couple of holes in the hessian, grab onto the center of the strip, pull to capture the rag, ease it through, and once again, miss out a couple of holes, grab onto the other end and pull it through. At the moment, I'm showing you the underside of the hessian um, just so you can see what I'm doing. But generally, <laughs> once you get really good at this technique, you just kind of fish for the rag because you know where it is. Um, and you don't even need to look. And I can actually do this technique holding lots of strips at the same time, which makes things a lot quicker than having to pick up one individual piece after another. So you can just hold them in your hand, feed them through, grab on, miss out a couple of holes, grab on. Generally, sometimes you'll have to even out a strip if you've been a bit too vicious and you've maybe um, gone through a bit more on one side of the strip than the other. But generally, one of the things I love about using the latch hook, as opposed to other tools, is you're working from the front of the hessian. So you can see exactly how it looks as and when you do it. So if you don't like a colour, it's not the end of the world because you can actually fix it there and then. Um, and we'll just do one more before we go on to our next row. Like so. And then if we're doing something like a rug, generally you want to miss out two rows in the hessian before you do your next row. 
So I'm now gonna, and once again, I was going from right to left, but now I'm going to go from left to right because it really doesn't matter which way you go. You can even go towards yourself and you're just going through one after the other, pulling through. And although I've said leave out two holes between one end of the strip and the other, if you've got one strand between, it's not the end of the world. If you've got three strands there, it doesn't matter either. Just generally try and keep it qu quite consistent. You don't want to start to miss out too many holes between one end of the strip and the other end of the strip because you'll end up with a bald patch in your rug and these will be visible and you'll also end up with long strands on the back of the hessian um, and these are very vulnerable to being pulled out as opposed to when they're nice and flat against the back and you can see that this is nice and consistent um, and you can also see that the hessian begins to tighten around where you've rag rugged that's what you're trying to achieve once you've got enough in there and they're all quite evenly spaced, your hessian will begin to tighten up to trap the rag into it so it doesn't fall out. And that is as simple as rag rugging is. Once you've built it up a little bit more, you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Um, this is actually lots of different fabric that I've used here. So I've used everything from t-shirt, fleece, this is a ribbed fabric. Um, we've got some lace and denim in here, um, but you can see the different effects and how it looks. Any fabric is fair game in rag rugging. Um, so I hope you found that useful and I hope you feel inspired to make a rag rug um, and enjoy.